Dear learners, after studying this lesson, you will be able to understand about development of classification of elements, main features of Mendeleev's periodic table, the defects of Mendeleev's periodic table, modern periodic law, the features of long form of periodic table, modern periodic classification and the trends in variation of atomic size and metallic character in the periodic table. The elements with similar electronic configuration show similar chemical properties. By the middle of the 19th century, quite a large number of elements nearly 60 were known. In order to study these elements systematically, it was considered necessary to classify them. In this lesson, you will undertake the journey through the development of classification of element from ancient to modern. You will also study how some properties of elements vary in the modern periodic table, need for classification of elements. The number of compounds formed by them was also innumerous. With the increasing number of elements, it was becoming more and more difficult to study their properties individually. Therefore, the need of their classification was felt. This led to the classification of various elements into groups which helped in the systematic study of elements. Development of classification. Scientists were in search of such characteristics of an element which would never change. After the work of William Proust in 1815, it was found that the atomic mass of an element remained constant. So, it could form the basis of satisfactory classification. The four major attempts made for classification of elements they are as follows. Dobinus triads, Newland's law of octave, Mendeleev's periodic law and periodic table and modern periodic table. Dobinus triads. In 1829, J. W. Dobinier, a German chemist, made group of three elements and called them triads. All three elements in a triad were similar in their physical and chemical properties. He proposed a law known as Daubigny's law of triads. According to this law, when elements are arranged in order of increasing atomic masses, the atomic mass of the middle element was nearly equal to the arithmetic mean of the other two and its properties were intermediate between these of the other two elements. This table shows the different triads formed by the Daveniers, uh, which includes the group of three elements and uh, it is also indicated here that the atomic mass of the middle element is arithmetic mean of other two elements. Newland's law of octave, this was the second attempt to classify the element. In 1864, an English chemist John Alexander Newland arranged the elements in the increasing order of their atomic masses, then called atomic weight at that time. He observed that every eighth element had properties similar to the first element as in the musical tones octaves. The merits of Newland's law of octave classification are atomic mass was made the basis of classification, periodicity of properties, the repetition of properties after a certain interval was recognized for the first time. The demerits of Newland's law of octave are, it was not applicable to elements of atomic number higher than 40. Hence, all the 60 elements known at that time could not be classified according to this criterion. With the discovery of normal gases, it was found that it was the ninth element 
which had the properties similar to the first one and not the eighth element. This resulted in rejection of very idea of octaves. Dimitri Mendeleev's also spelled as Mendeleev's or Mendeleev, a Russian chemist studied the properties of all the 63 elements known at that time and their compounds. On arranging the elements in the increasing order of atomic masses, he observed that the elements with the similar properties occur periodically. In 1869, he stated this observation in the form of following statement which is known as Mendeleev's periodic law. The chemical and physical properties of elements are a periodic function of their atomic masses. The periodic function is the one which repeat itself after a certain intervals. Mendeleev's arrange the elements in the form of a table which is known as Mendeleev's periodic table. This is the initial periodic table given by the Mendeleev. The main features of Mendeleev's periodic table. Following are the main features of this periodic table. The elements are arranged in row and column in the periodic table. This was the first time when a chemist tried to uh, arrange the elements in the form of row and columns. The horizontal rows are called periods. There are six periods in the periodic table. They are numbered from 1 to 6 Arabic numerals. Each one of the 4th, 5th and 6th periods have two series of elements. Properties of elements in a given period shows regular gradation that is increase or decrease from left to right. The vertical columns present in it are called groups. There are 8 groups numbered from 1 to 8 Roman numerals. Group 1 to 7 are further divided into A and B subgroups. However, group 8 contain 3 elements in each of the 3 periods. All the elements present in a particular group are chemically similar in nature. They also show a regular gradation in their physical and chemical properties from top to bottom. Classification of elements. Mendeleev's classification include all the 63 elements known at that time on the basis of this atomic masses and facilitated systematic study of elements. Correction of atomic masses. Atomic masses of some elements like beryllium, gold, in indium were corrected on their position. Third, prediction of new elements. This table indicates the different elements he predicted that uh, could be the new elements which represents the prediction of different elements by the Mendeleev's. Valency of elements. Mendeleev's classification helped in understanding the valency of elements. The valency of elements is given by the group number. For example, all the elements in group 1 that is helium, hydrogen, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium have valency 1. Mendeleev's periodic table was a great success yet it had following defects. First is position of hydrogen. The position of hydrogen which is placed in group 1A along with alkali metals is ambiguous as it resembles alkali metals as well as halogen group that is 7A. Second, position of isotopes. Example, two isotopes of carbon are placed as C12-6 and C14-6 but placed at the same position. Third, anomalous pair of elements. For example, cobalt with higher atomic mass that is 58.9 was placed before nickel with, with lower atomic mass that is 58.7. Grouping of chemically dissimilar elements. Elements such as copper and silver have no resemblance with alkali metals, lithium, sodium etc. but have been grouped together in the first group. 
separation of chemically similar elements elements which are chemically similar such as gold and platinum have been placed in separate groups now after the failure of mendeleev's periodic table the modern periodic law was assumed in 1913 henry mosley an english physicist discovered that the atomic number and not the atomic mass of the most fundamental particle of an element atomic number of an element is the number of protons in the nucleus of its atom according to modern periodic law the modern periodic law states that the chemical and physical properties of elements are periodic function of their atomic number that is if elements are arranged in the order of their increasing atomic number the elements with the similar properties are repeated after certain regular intervals this is the table which shows the different elements and regular properties that in all these elements the valence electron are one that is the, that shows the periodicity in the properties